Hey everyone, this is Tim from Your Six Studios. Today in this video, I'm going to show you how to fix the analyst green screen on your Xbox One when you're trying to start up the system. So let's go ahead and jump into this Xbox tutorial right now. So this endless green screen that you've been getting can be very frustrating. And how do we fix that? Well, there is a possible solution that I'm going to show you right now, and it involves accessing the Xbox One's troubleshooting menu. And to access your troubleshooting menu, it's very easy. You're going to have to first go to your Xbox One, and you're going to have to hold down the eject button and the bind button at the same time, and then go ahead and press the Xbox button on the front of the console. You'll hear a second beep and then let go. So let's go over to my Xbox One and get a closer look at how to do this. All right, so let's turn around our Xbox One. Then Microsoft recommends if you are using a wired internet cable, go ahead and just disconnect that. Then find the power cable and unplug that. And sometimes this can be a little bit difficult to unplug, I've noticed, and it takes a little bit of effort just get a good grip and position yourself and it'll pop right off. So you're going to want to take out the power cable just because you want to clear the cache on the Xbox One and let the power dissipate throughout the console before plugging it back in. Now wait about 30 seconds before you plug your power cable back in and then go ahead and reinsert it. Now this is what Microsoft actually recommends to do before accessing the troubleshooting menu. And the wired internet cable here, go ahead and plug this in once you're done doing your troubleshooting. So right when the console boots normal, go ahead and plug this back in. Now on the front of your Xbox One, go ahead and find the eject button on your S. Then if it's on the original, it'll be on the side. Then go ahead and press the bind button, which will be located under the Xbox button, and press those two buttons at the same time. Then press the Xbox button on the console, and it'll start up. And wait about two or three seconds, and you'll hear another beep. Then let go, and your Xbox One will be starting in the troubleshooting menu now. Okay, so now that we're in the troubleshooting menu, go ahead and turn on your controller. And you'll only be able to use the D-pad to navigate. You won't be able to use the thumbstick. It won't work. So we're going to have two options on here. The offline system update where we can go ahead and update our system software. And maybe it's a software issue that's been causing this green screen. And just by going to xbox.com slash xbox one slash offline update and then loading the latest software update on a USB stick, you can go ahead and reinstall the system software and maybe that's the issue that's been causing this. And if you want a complete guide of how to do this, it can be a lengthy process, maybe like 30 to 45 minutes, just to download and copy all the files necessary. But once you have everything on the USB stick, you just plug it into the console, then go to here, and that's it. Your console will download and copy over all the files and then restart. Then the next thing you can try is going to reset this Xbox, which will restore the factory defaults. And you'll have two options in here. Um, you can do factory reset that will keep the games and apps. It will erase all accounts, save games, settings, and home Xbox associations, but it will keep the installed games and apps. Just remember, um, when it says erase all accounts, You'll have to remember your email and password to log back into your Xbox Live account. So go ahead and make sure you have that available to you before doing this. And then here's our last option, remove everything. And this will erase all the settings, all the accounts, all the saved games, all the information off your Xbox One and restart it just like it was new when you brought it home for the first time from the store. So those are your two options. Pick which one you want to do. Otherwise, try the system update. So this is a good solution to start to try to fix this green screen issue that you've been having. So if this video did indeed help you out fix your green screen issues, go ahead and leave this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel down below for more Xbox One tech help videos coming up next on Your Six Studios.